Today, you learn how to listen to CB radio with SDR++, as well as why you may be having issues tuning CB radio and how to overcome them. And maybe even learn to listen to people 2,000 miles away. Because you're smoking with some mother nature in Northern Arizona. I think it's time for your first mission. It's fairly straightforward, but I can tell you the first time I chased the signal of the so-called citizens band, it was elusive. This is tuned signal. <laughs> Listening to CB radio should be easy, right? I mean, you're just simply tuning into a channel like FM radio and then listening. But oddly, if you were like me and you were tuning in CB radio, you found nothing when you first tried it. There are many reasons why this could have happened and we're gonna go through step by step some of the challenges and hopefully you'll be tuning in to the citizens band in no time whatsoever. But let's like take care of some of the biggest challenges right off the bat. First off, there are simply fewer people using CB radio today than there were in the past. But now we've got cell phones, internet and family radio service, FRS type radios, and people just simply don't use CB radio as much. This is also at a challenge because of the CB radio frequency range. We're talking about a range where the center of the CB radio frequency is 27 megahertz. This is a challenge because at 27 megahertz, we've got some specific considerations about the actual transmission distance. And all of this is dependent on the antenna. There are some characteristics about the antenna that make a huge difference about how far we can receive signals, and that's the length, the height, and the orientation. Let's go ahead and start with our first antenna. For those of you that want to get started quickly, we'll start with the antenna that comes with the RTL SDR B3 kit. It's not an ideal antenna, but it does come with some things that'll help you get tuning CB radio quickly. It comes with a dipole kit, as well as an extension cable, and a nice bendy tripod that we can use to wrap around a post. This is a photographic light stand that I'm using to elevate the antenna. I've connected that bendy tripod to the topmost post and oriented the antenna into a vertical dipole. I'm using my mobile device along with my SDR and an even longer cable to connect to the antenna so that I can get my antenna as high as possible. If you look closely at the antenna, there is a cap on the center post that can be removed. There is an insulated wire which is connected to the center post and this antenna should be pointing upward. There is a lower antenna connected to the uninsulated wire. This is the ground and should be pointing down. And this is the best that I could receive on this particular day with this antenna. I have been able to receive more with a different orientation of the antenna. We'll talk about that more later. I decided to purchase an antenna designed specifically for CB radio. This required me to purchase an adapter to connect the CB radio antenna to my SDR. Place this antenna onto a metallic surface or a magnetic surface. This has the effect of reflecting the signal back up to the antenna as well as lowering the noise floor. As you can see in the previous two antennas, they worked okay, but they weren't ideal. They are what you would call not resonant on that particular frequency for CB radio. In our image here, I've drawn a transmitter transmitting a signal of some sort to a dipole antenna. And this one isn't quite resonant. That means that the antenna isn't tuned specifically for the frequency. There's actually an equation for that and we'll look at that. So we have the signal coming in, it hits the antenna and it comes through our SDR and comes to our laptop. So let's look at the next drawing that I have here. We have our monopole antenna placed onto a metal surface. This is what lowered the noise floor and allowed us to hear a better signal. In this case, we have a single pole antenna receiving our signal and it would come in through this antenna into the SDR to our laptop. If we look here, this is an image of a resonant signal. 
this is where the wavelength of the actual signal, remember the waves that we were dealing with in a previous diagram where they look like a sine wave, are exactly in tune with the wavelength or length of the antenna. This distance from here to here is the wavelength from this point to this point. So if the antenna is a multiple of this length is what we call resonant. Let's look at a video clip of an example of resonance that I'm using with wax paper and a vibrating signal. As you can see, as I play the different notes, the wax paper vibrates when it is closer to the frequency of the same length as the wax paper. Uh, in the case of the antenna, the antenna doesn't exactly vibrate, but you get the idea. So we're going to build an antenna based on a specific equation, as you can see here, and it will be tuned specifically for 27.2 megahertz, which is the center of the CB radio frequency. To begin making our antenna, we're gonna need one of these. This is a ballon. This is a one to nine ballon, and it's designed to balance the antenna load difference between the antenna and our SDR. You'll have a cable that connects from this end to this end, and then your dipole antenna will connect to this. A dipole is simply an antenna with two poles. One hole here will be used for one element or pole, and then the other one will be used for the other. Technically, one of these is the ground. I believe it's the one here on, it's actually the one here on the left. We'll measure that out based off of a frequency calculation for the length of an antenna. So you're gonna to have to have something to measure your antenna with. I'm gonna use a tape measure. And also for our antenna, I'm gonna use this old Cat5 wire. Inside of the insulation are several leads and I'm simply going to measure out the distance for the entire length of wire, strip it, and then we'll have multiple elements that we can use. Once finished, we set our antenna up in this configuration. This is horizontally polarized. This allows us to do what's called CB radio skip, where the signal is transmitted up to the ionosphere and then bounces back down to earth, allowing us to transmit between a couple of hundred to a couple of thousand miles. Check out this transmission where I'm receiving a signal in Florida all the way from Arizona. That's 1,800 miles away. Yeah, priority up. Central Arizona, stateside, we're trying. Because you're smoking with some mother nature in Northern Arizona. There are some settings for your SDR application that you should be aware of. Using SDR++, you want to make sure you have direct sampling disabled. You'll also want to check RTL AGC and uncheck Tuner AGC. We will be manually adjusting our gain to get the best possible signal quality. You will set your radio setting to AM, and then you can set the carrier AGC. However, if you're starting out, it's probably best to leave it unchecked. Also, I've loaded a channel list so that I can see all the different channels. These are indicated by the yellow markers here on the screen. It's very helpful in choosing the proper channel. This also takes into account that not all CB radio channels are AM. Some of them are lower sideband or LSB or upper sideband, which is USB. Check out this video to learn the basics about SDR++. Another thing that can affect whether or not you're picking up local CB radio channels is where your location is. If you're not located near a major highway or a truck stop, you may have to use horizontal polarization to receive signals via CB skip. I also found that the time of day makes a difference. Many times around mealtime is a great time to be able to hear chatter on CB radio. However, during the day when there's a lot more ionospheric activity, you actually will get better CB skip. You know, if you got twice the receiver, or better receiver on both radio.
This is Tune Signal. Right back there, Pennsylvania pimp. Oh, okay, so it's the end of the month. Yeah, I know I won't be making that. I'm still trying to get everything going with what I got going over here, so 